Hi guys, once again, this is Alfred from amassers.com. I'm back. I'm going to cover our little web app, talk a little about deviation levels and how to read and how to apply the stuff here. I've been using deviation levels for years now. Uh, it was first introduced to me by a guy that was a retired floor trader. We kind of put our own little spin on the formula and developed our own formula. And this is all really encoded into this little web app that we'll be releasing on the site real soon. I think it's pretty intuitive. I think it's quick to understand, but I want to go over it. So let's get right into it. Um, right here is the date. This is going to update every day around 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Right now, uh, we're not tracking a lot. We're tracking one, two. These are three top cryptos as I'm recording this Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BNB. But I'm going to put some more in here with my brother over time. Now, this was my brother's idea. I think it's really cool. There's shading here to kind of give you like a little graph for the visual learners as to how probable the trade is and you, uh, or how probable it is that we're going to hit a number that day. And you can see over here on like 2.5, everything's darkened out. So that would plus that's plus 2.5. That doesn't mean we we're not going to get there on that day. Statistics are not gospel. That means that if we are getting there on that day, here's how I interpret it. Here's how I use deviation levels. On most days, we're going to stay somewhere between negative one and positive one. When you start to see these jumps outside of that area and you start to see statistics, these probabilities that are ultra low, this is that time to sell up here at the top for me. And this is that time to buy down here at the bottom for me. And that's how I use these in my day to day trading. I also use these like over here on my chart. You can see we're around the end of the month right now. We sold out sharply and we're pushing back up as they they've successfully liquidated everybody's positions on the downside. If you're doing leverage, you know, and now we're just consolidating on the top side you see we're not touching plus 0.5 or even negative 0.5 we've kind of stayed in that little zone in that little range in that little controlled range there all of today that's how you can use deviation levels and no price action i love price action when i started trading I was just a price action trader, okay? But when I started to learn about statistical arbitrage, I started to understand now I'm not just looking at candles floating in outer space. I'm also looking at statistics and I can find out when is the market really volatile? Now I've got statistics to tell me today is not very volatile. This is a tight trading day. If everyone on CNBC is saying the sky is falling, I can come over here and consult my numbers and find out is there really some unusual volatility or are these guys just providing entertainments which will which will sometimes just be the case. That'll help you stay cool, guys. And 80%, maybe more than 80% of trading is all about being able to mitigate losses due to emotion and keeping your emotions in check is going to help you to trade more effectively long term whether you're trading whether you're investing or whatever so we have these over here where you can copy them and keep the levels put these numbers inside of whatever trading software you're using you can copy paste like that We've got the percentage. This is the percentage move from the open at 7 p.m. I do these because I know a lot of guys are trading with leverage. And a lot of guys like to keep up with the percentage growth there is on the day. And when I'm trading, I most of the time, I'll look at the percentage move. I'll try and normalize different things 
and I'll say to myself if this is up 10 15 20 percent on the day compared to maybe something that's very similar or very different but it may only be up two or three percent on the day then I know that normalizing like that is probably time for me to unload some of whatever I'm top heavy in that I've already seen that spike on the day in sometimes on my Twitter over here I'll mention that I'm selling something I just sold this or I just sold that I was selling a lot of doge when it was spiking the deviation levels helped me to know hey okay I'm gonna wait obviously it's, there's a lot of momentum going here but I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna pinch off some little sales on as close as I can get to those daily tops on those spikes that day and the statistics will help you over time to figure out where that is that's all I have for today guys just covering deviation levels I hope that this has been helpful and informative to you see you guys on the next video once again this is Alfred for amassers.com like share comment subscribe see you guys on the next video